Now that continuity camera is available for iOS 16 and macOS Ventura, using your iPhone as a webcam is easier than ever. Continuity camera is free, it's built in, it's wireless, and you don't need any third party applications. But there are still third party apps that allow you to use your iPhone as a webcam and add some additional features. Plus if you have an older iPhone that continuity camera doesn't support or a Mac that can't run macOS Ventura, these third party applications can still let you use your iPhone as a webcam. We're going to compare the new continuity camera feature to two third party applications, Epic Cam and Camo. All allow you to use your iPhone as a webcam and have some additional features. The first third party application is Epic Cam from Elgato. It is actually free to use and so you can download the app for free and the utility on your Mac for free as well. Epic Cam's free tier caps out at 720p resolution and there is an Elgato watermark on your video. But you can buy the Epic Cam Pro app on your iPhone for $8 that is a one time purchase not a subscription that will remove the watermark and give you 1080p resolution for your webcam. Epic Cam from Elgato actually has two different applications. One is free, which is the white background, and one is $8, which is Epic Cam Pro. Because there's no subscription with Epic Cam Pro, this is how you pay for the service, either by buying the Pro app or using the free app. The Epic Cam Pro app is gonna look very similar to the free version, except you do get a gear icon here where you can change your connection method or the bit rate or video quality. Once your iPhone is connected to the Camera Hub app on your Mac, you do have additional controls. You can even turn on the flash for additional lighting. You can adjust the zoom level, which is a nice feature. And you can even adjust the brightness, contrast, and saturation of your image. You do have the ability to add a grid to your image or flip the image if you need. And they have some pretty intense special effects like an augmented reality Iron Man style helmet. All you have to do is say start, and now it appears that I am Iron Man. Then you can say off and it will disable. How often you will use that feature in your video calls remains to be seen. And when you record with Riverside, you can choose the Elgato virtual camera and it will use Epic Cam for your webcam. So if you have an older iPhone all the way down to an iPhone 6 or an older Mac running High Sierra, then you can still run Epic Cam. The other third party application that you can use with those older devices is Camo from the company Reincubate. Camo does have a free tier with free applications and they don't watermark your video, but they will cap your resolution at 720p and you don't have access to a lot of the other camera effects and features. If you'd like to use your iPhone webcam at 1080p resolution, even choose the lens of your iPhone which to use as a webcam, you'll have to pay a subscription for Camo. It's $5 a month, $40 a year, or $80 for a lifetime purchase. If you do pay for that subscription, you can also use Camo with an Android or Windows devices. So if you move around between different devices or you have an Android phone, or you have an iPhone and a Windows computer from work, this would be a great option. In order to use Camo, you do have to download a third party app on your iPhone. It's called the Camo app. We'll put a link in the video description. Once you open the app on your iPhone, there's not much to do there, although you can see what computers you have paired this app with. Once your iPhone is connected to the Camo app on your Mac, you have lots of controls over your image. They have lots of different effects, including a portrait mode, so if you'd like to blur the background. And a really nice feature is if you have an iPhone with multiple lenses, like the iPhone 14 Pro, you can choose between the wide angle, ultra wide, or telephoto lens to use for the webcam. You can choose auto or manual focus, choose the resolution you'd like to use in a webcam, even frames per second all the way up to 60. Like Epic Cam, you also have adjustments for brightness, saturation, and other video qualities. And a really unique feature from Camo is the ability to have built-in overlays that they can put on your video, and these overlays will appear in something like Riverside when you record there. You can bring their overlays into their editing studio, add your information and images, and then use those overlays with your iPhone as a webcam in your recording software of choice. And when you're ready to record, here in Riverside you can choose the camo camera as your video input and those overlays will also be shown here in the video. Keep in mind if you use these overlays during a Riverside recording, they will be burned in or permanently a part of the video recording track that you get from Riverside. So if you'd like to add overlays later or after the recording, don't do them during the call. Instead, export your video files to Premiere or Final Cut and then you can add those overlays later. And finally, continuity camera. We have lots of videos. You can check this one out to learn more about the feature. Again, this is iOS 16 and macOS Ventura specifically. You need an iPhone 10R or newer and a Mac from about 2018 or newer. There's not as many features or customizability for the video quality using continuity camera, but it's built into the system. You don't need any third party applications and it works in something like Riverside in your web browser, FaceTime, or you can record in QuickTime. With continuity camera, if you click on the control center on your Mac, you do have some video effects, namely portrait, studio light, and you can turn on center stage, but it's pretty limited feature wise after that. But as you can see, it's easy to choose as your camera right here in Riverside, and you can use your iPhone as a webcam with no third party applications. 
So should you use continuity camera or one of the third party applications? Well, if you have an iPhone that's too old or a Mac that can't run macOS Ventura, these third party applications are a great option to use your iPhone as a webcam. And if you'd like even more control over your video quality settings, choosing the lens of your camera, those third party applications are a great choice. Again, Epic Cam is a one-time purchase for that $8 Pro app. Camo is a subscription, $5 a month, $40 a year, or $80 for a lifetime purchase. If you'd like to learn more about the new continuity feature that Apple just launched, you can click this video above. Or if you're having trouble getting it to work on your computer or your iPhone, check out the link in this video's description. And then subscribe to the Riverside channel. We have lots of content on podcast production, recording from your mobile phone or iPad, and a ton more. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.